Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about tuning with our mass airflow style sensor in our mega squirt software. So we're gonna be finding if we don't wanna tune speed density based, that we are able to utilize a mass airflow sensor, hook it up into the mega squirt, and then utilize a different form of tuning. So we looked at our main VE table in the last video doing a couple different styles or strategies of our fuel tuning. In this video, we're gonna be finding the mass airflow sensor is gonna have a completely different approach to doing our fuel tuning. We're gonna be taking a look at how to do it and how to configure everything so it's gonna be set up correctly. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at how to use our mass airflow sensor as an input and for fuel strategy calculations in our mega squirt. So in the last video, we're taking a look at our speed density, our barrel correction, and our alpha N style tuning. That's all going to be strategies we can implement, but this mass airflow sensor is going to be another very useful fuel calculation strategy if we choose to use this. Now, most people want to go with speed density. They want to skip over the, using a mass airflow sensor, but they're very useful. Um, we're going to be finding we don't have to worry about any kind of uh, altitude change or temperature change because the mass airflow sensor will directly account for that in its readings. Um, so it's going to be something that uh, we definitely have a, a plus for tuning with a mass airflow sensor as well as making the tuning process extremely easy. Now it's going to be another huge benefit. So what we're going to be seeing here in order to implement this and use this, we're going to go to basic load settings. We're going to be going into engine and sequential settings, jumping up here to this control type and we're going to be finding, we have it set on speed density right now, we'd have to drop down here into mass airflow or math. And once we do that, it's going to require us to burn that change to our controller. We can close our window here, and we have to power cycle our box. Let's power it down right now, let it go offline, and let it come back onto online mode. And we can see it's going to give it a second here, and now we're back online. So the first thing we're going to be finding here, it gives us configuration error warning. There's something wrong uh, and it's not going to allow us to do anything else until we resolve this. Now this is actually good that this happened because anytime if we inappropriately tie, let's say, two inputs together, if we assign two input or one input to two different spots in the software, that could create a, a conflict error. Or if we have uh, one output set for two different purposes, so we might have one output set for fuel pump and radiator fan. Well, that won't make sense. We have to resolve that uh, conflict, and the mega squirt will give us this error message. So it's going to be telling us here. Math or math map enabled, you need to enable a math sensor port. So it's telling us we haven't told the Megasquirt what input pin or port to look for the 